Well, yeah, that's a, that's a, a question that people find difficult to answer. And to be honest, it, it, it is a difficult question until you think about it, really. But the way I re respond to that is the fact is that Jesus is exclusive because he is, as the Bible tells us, and as we recognise as we go through our Christian life, he is the only way. In fact, he says, I am the way, the truth and the life, which is a very familiar um, quote from the Bible. But it's so true, it's so profoundly true. But the fact is, it is exclusive. But the good news is, although Jesus is exclusive, that which he offers is inclusive to everyone. To believers of other religions, the believers of no religions. Indeed, and importantly, most importantly I guess, to the most anti-Christian, the most atheistic person that has ever lived. So this is the, the grace of God in Jesus. Yes, he is the only way and there's no question that there is another way. What we must always acknowledge as Christians that all religions have in some way merits which are very worthy. Most of the known uh, religions have disciplines that are indeed worthy and we should always respect people's sincerity when this happens. But the truth is, there cannot be, as many people um, expound on, that there is truth in all religions. Because if God, the creator of our universe, the creator of the world, can be true in many various ways, that means that there's ways that he is untrue. So it's impossible for God to be true in various ways because various ways obviously conflict. Therefore I would always say that the God that we worship is completely true, he is the only way and we should always, as I was saying earlier, always respect others' viewpoints but in no way be belligerent, in no way be so aggressive in your ascertaining that this is the only way that you offend people, because you can offend people. But when we look at what Christianity is, at what Jesus tells us, it becomes, it becomes very clear as we are considering Christianity, that the uniqueness of our faith is that it's not what we do, it's not what we earn, it's not what we study, what we achieve. <clears throat> the amazing miracle is that Christianity is something God has already done for us. It's already there. Our salvation is sure. All we have to do is to respond to it. I often think of it in a way like this, that somebody can give me a wonderful present. It's beautifully presented. It's something I'm told will be, do me the world of good. But I neglect to pick it up. I neglect to open it. I leave it. And I forget it. And it's just like this. Christianity is a gift that is already achieved for us. All we have to do is, by faith, and we have that through grace, to accept. So that's my response.